Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you an exciting thing that is how to debug an LWC component. Obviously you as a developer, right, once you build an LWC component, you would like to know how to debug it. The way I do it, I usually use the browser, that's the Chrome tool. So if you go here and you go to more tools and you go to developer tools, uh, that's where, that's how I debug it. But before I get into that, I just wanted to mention a few things. The first of all, you know, if you if you ask me, there are uh, two modes uh, of execution for the Lightning component. Okay, one is the production mode, one is the uh, debug mode. Okay, so by default, your LWC framework runs in production mode. What that means is that your code is optimized for performance. What that also means that behind the scene, the production mode removes all your line breaks, space, tabs, and code commands. Right, just to make your code. Uh, more optimized before it gets served to the browser. That's uh, in a simple nutshell. Also, you have to remember, you might have heard about wire adapters, right? And API and track adapters. So uh, production mode uses this um, the JavaScript proxies for uh, to provision a data through the decorators, okay? So now, um, then we have something called the, the most common one that is the debug mode. Uh, in debug mode, uh, you know, the JavaScript code is easier to read and debug, which is what I'm going to show you. And the JavaScript source you see in the dev tools right here. You can see the dev tools in the right hand corner. Uh, that looks quite looks similar to your un uncompiled code, right? That's the code what you have in the visual, um, uh, the VS code, the code which I've showed you. This looks pretty much the same, right? What you have in the VS code. Um, because um, it's it's uncompiled and also the debug mode adds more detail output you know so if you wanted to track the warnings and error kind of stuff um, so the component mode is compile uh, component code right sorry um, it is compiled in both production and debug mode in debug mode the compiled JavaScript code uh, is not really optimized like uh, you know production mode okay all right, so now one thing I just wanted to tell you that if you've seen that this option, right, enable debug mode, um, you know, just enable the debug mode here by going to the setup. I'll show you in a second how to do that. Um, so there is a banner. So this is kind of banner which talk about EBT, right? Uh, so which is, uh, hang on a second. If you, okay, if I close this, right, you talk about EBT, right? Uh, what is EPT? This is experience page time metric, which appears at the top, right? Um, so, and then we have other options there, right? So, okay. Now, if you remember that uh, in one of the episodes, I've enabled LWS, Lightning Web Security, for this org. So because of that, your code looks very structured when you go to the dev mode. Now, if you do not know how to enable this, the enable, so which is important in my case if you wanted to debug it. So you go to this... Um, get code icon you go to setup here and um, under setup you go to you know debug just go under lighting component debug mode which is pretty that's where you, the real magic happens so you can pick and choose any user you like right if I wanted to choose say um, Dave Muller and I choose this as you can see that debug mode is disabled it's not enabled because there's no tick under the debug mode section so you choose the Dave Muller uh, put a tick next to it and I do enable so what that does that it will enable um, uh, this uh, this option for this user so when this user logs in right as a day Muller to this org you will this user will see this EPT and other stuff okay all right enough of talking let's do some uh, debugging right so I go to the the home page where I have the components listed, right? That's the to create. So I wanted to debug the create component save process. That's all I wanted to do. When, it, when the user saves it, I just wanted to see what's going on behind the scene. So, okay. So what I'll do, I'll just go here. Um, you can use Internet Explorer if you like. They have the similar options with Firefox. Okay, I haven't used, um, uh, I'm not sure what Opera and Safari, so I haven't used it, so. Okay, now you can see that we have the nice LWS options here, right? So that's because you've enabled that uh, code, right? So now if you go to the create contact, so you can see you have HTML and JavaScript here. So you go here and I'll put, you know, I, I click here, right? It will create a breakpoint for me, right? 
and um, yeah, handle sub event. I wanted to see what's going on here, right? So what I'll do, um, let me type test, test, right? And let me show you what happens. See, when I click on save, see the, the debugger, uh, the breakpoint comes here. So what I'll do, I will make the screen bigger. Okay. Okay, so you have watch here, your breakpoints. You can add watch. You can add. Uh, it's like a consider this as an ID on the web, which using which you can debug it. That's the way I look at it, and it's very powerful. Okay, so my code comes here now. I will do uh, F10. Okay, see the code moves to the next line. You can do F11 if you wanted to dig deeper. Step in, and you see the event. So you're passing this. Now I'm getting the fields. So I got the fields from here right and you can see here if you wanted to the local variable so you can expand it you can you know look all the stuff here and and you can see the target prototype and you can okay and then i wanted to press again write the code pass right and then template with query selector so this is target and yeah I mean, I'm just showing you how you can debug it, right? You might have lots of complicated code. This is a pretty simple code, right? So you can go in and debug it. So I'll do F10, F10, so F10, F10. Oh, okay, if you don't want to debug further, just press F5. Okay, so, and I press that again. Okay, refresh it. Okay, I just closed it. Okay. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll just go to my org and I'll look for the contact if, to see if we got test test there. Okay, so we got it. So that means it worked. So that's one of the way, I mean, some people do that. You should uh, VS Code, they attach it to the Chrome and do that from there. I often love to do from the browser. This is the most easiest web for me. And plus I get a lot of options here, right? If, if you go to the... Um, you know the more tools and uh, you know developer tools you you can write the stuff here you can test your javascript code you right you can have console you can you know if you uh put a breakpoint right if you put a console log debug right sometimes developers put console log debug right in their lwc code or for that matter even if you're doing a react code right you can still uh, do that using this option and you will get the option message here right to see you know that part of the code is getting executed so yeah you can use console then you can see the performance in, inside if you wanted to see right and you can see you know memory application security like a lot of options you can see right this is a very powerful tool i use it a lot of time whenever i deal with an lwc component but I, I mean i've built a lot of lwc component right in my salesforce career it's, it's one of the most rewarding um thing to do right to build lwc component code is always beautiful right you know if you if you don't if you fall in love with the code you can create magic with the code right it's a kind of a symphony you will be able to create uh, you know which you know which creates a beautiful stories in, in terms of uh, you know user experience and and the business product you will be building so that's the way i look at it right so if you are passionate about programming you always be passionate about programming people right okay Sorry, I uh, digress. So yeah, this is all I wanted to cover. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so in the next episode, we're going to talk about uh, if you have a or a component, what step you can take to migrate to LWC. Because obviously, uh, you might have a lot of orgs which still have uh, had deal with or right. They're looking to transition to LWS. Uh, sorry, LWC. I need my computer component. I often confused with LWS and LWC. All right, never mind. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk. Uh, about uh, in, in today's episode. So you guys have an amazing um, Thursday. Adios.